In today's video, we will be setting up a development environment for the Commodore 64 Kick Assembler program. In the first segment, we will configure a development system for use with the Sublime Text Editor, and in the second segment, we will be configuring the Visual Studio Code Editor for use with Kick Assembler. You might be wondering why use Kick Assembler if you already have CBM Program Studio. The main reason was I wanted to be able to follow along with other people who are creating assembler code using Kick including the old school coder who's currently working on a project to rewrite Hunchback for the Commodore 64, and Shalon who is working on several C64 projects on YouTube and Twitch. So let's get to it. All right, in this segment, I'm going to configure the Subline Text Editor for use with Kick Assembler. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is download and install 7-Zip. And I have the download links in the video's description. So I'm going to download the programs for Windows and install taking the defaults. Next thing we're going to want to install is Java. And there's a link on the Kick Assemblers page for Java, and it's also in the programs in the video's description. Then we're going to want to install Kick Assembler. And I'm just going to get Java started right here. I'm taking the defaults. Now on the kick assembler, what we want to do is go into the zip file, copy everything, and we need to create some folders on this on the root of the C drive. The first folder is C64, followed by Tools. And then inside Tools, we want to create a Kick Assembler folder. And paste those files in that folder. And then while we're at it, we need to modify this config file right here. And we can just use notepad for that. And we want to add in here minus debug dump. And that's needed for debugging later on when, when we start using Kick Assembler. And then the next thing what we want to do is install Vice. And what I have is a link for Vice 3.3. Right click on the Vice zip file with 7-zip. I'm just going to extract the files right here locally. That way I can just open up the folder and copy all the files. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use cut and put them into the tools folder. But we'll create a folder name right here called vice and paste those files in right here. Next, we're gonna install the C64 debugger. Oops, put that in the wrong area and hit download. And the two files we need are the PDF and the C64 debugger. We're going to hit copy and put those over to the C64 tools vice folder. Just throw it in the root of vice.
And last but not least, we're going to install Sublime Text. And I pretty much just take the default. And let's see, let's clear the desktop here. We'll start up Sublime Text. And let's create a pin for it, maximize. And we'll go to Tools. The first thing we need to do is install the package control so that we can install the Kick Assembler component. After that's installed, what we want to do is go up to Preferences, Package Control, and then where it has Install Package, select that. Once that pops up, we're going to type Kick Assembler, and we're going to install this one right here. And now that that's installed, we can go back into Preferences and go over to Package Settings, Kick Sublime Kick Assembler C64 Preferences. And we need to configure the debugger. So we just got to copy the second line that's on the left over here. And then come over to the right side, put a comma next to that bracket, hit enter, paste in, except we need to change this to say C64 Debugger. And then hit the X right here to save the change. And it doesn't matter if there's a comma right there. Now we can go ahead and start using Kick Assembler, and I will demonstrate that here. I just need to bring in some source code. So I'm going to drop in, let's see, I, I have some source I just popped into the desktop, but I want that source code to live on right here in the C64 folder, so we'll paste that in. And I'm going to reopen Sublime Text, close it and reopen it. And we're going to do File, Open Folder, and I'm going to point to that source code. Click My Source, hit Select Folder. And then in the tinkering, I have a program I wanted to play around with. It's called one by one text scroller bottom dash kick and it's not a program that I wrote as you can see but now we ought from here we ought to be able to hit F7 to compile and run this so I'm pressing F7 okay now when I did that there's a few things that need to be configured in Vice. You can see it's in warp mode and it's taking quite a while to load the program. So what we need to do to improve that is go into settings, settings, and then under machine settings under auto start. For I like to uncheck warp on auto start and then I like to use inject into RAM. And then we hit OK, close, and then up here, save settings. And sometimes it takes a couple times before that those changes take, but we'll see. So now let's press F7 one more time. And you see we're still in warp mode here, so I'm going to hit Alt and W to go back to 100% settings, save settings and try that again F7 you see it compiles really quick and it runs pretty quick so it runs the sample program then the other thing you can do in sublime text is press shift in F7 to run the debugger shift F7 and that will automatically run the Commodore 64 or the C64 debugger and so that's the first segment. That's the end of the first segment. 
Um, there's a lot of details that we could go into, but would be out of scope for this video. All right, in this segment, we're going to install VS Code or Visual Studio Code and configure it for use with Kick Assembler. To do that, we're going to go to code.visualstudio.com forward slash download and then download the version for your computer. Here, I'm also going to take the default. We're also going to pin this one to the taskbar. And then the first thing we need to do is go to extensions. I'm going to use this button over here on the left. And we're going to type in C64 kick. And you see there's several different ones. The one I prefer to use right now is the one by Paul Hawker. I'm going to click install. The reason why I like to use this one is that it lets it lets you use F6 to start up Vice and Shift F6 to start up the debugger. Very similar to Sublime Text. Okay, so now that we have that installed, there's a gearbox right here. So we need to um, check out a few of the extension settings. So the first thing we're going to do is point it to the .jar file. I have the setting. Oops, I have the setting copy and paste already in my paste. So it's just C64 tools, kick assembler. And then the next one we're going to copy in is, well, let's look through these. The debugger runtime. So you're going to want to point it to where your debugger runtime lives, which is uh, C64 tools via C64 debugger. The next one is the emulator runtime. We want to point that to your emulator, which we're using Vice 64, C64 tools Vice. And then last but not least, you want to point to your Java runtime and I think that's coming up right here so you want to replace this with the full path of the Java runtime and for the file the program the Java that we the version of Java that we installed or that I installed just now that is where the Java runtime is once you have all those settings in place you can close that and you, we're gonna we can open up right in here and do open folder and we're going to point to the same source location. I'm going to use that as the folder, my source. And we'll try running the same program. We'll go down to Tinkering, uh, one by one text scroller. And you'll, and you'll notice here we should be good to go. We can press F6 to start up vice and to run the program. Now if we're lucky it took our settings from the previous from the, how we set up vice a, a few minutes ago but we can double check that in here auto start and so yeah it looks like it saved it kept our settings and then from VS code we can also hit shift and F6 to start the debugger the C64 debugger, which is a really, really neat tool to debug um, your programs with. And just as another one little, uh, little, one more little test here, we'll add a break in. And this is like a debug break, and I'll demonstrate it in both Vice 
and in the debugger. So you can see here, vice will open up and, and break right on that line. And you can type go and the program will continue to run. And if you want to do the same thing with the debugger, you hit shift F6. And then it stops right there and you can, you can hit F10 if, even if you wanted to and start stepping through it one line at a time. So that's the debugger, and now if you want, if you want to uh, go for extra credit, let's see when we clo uh, close VS Code and reopen it, it prompts you. It notices on mine that I had a Git installation. So for extra credit, I would recommend you download Git, which will uh, back up the source code as you are writing it and make and keep prior versions so you can refer to prior versions and keep your source code nice and neat and up to date. But anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful and thanks for watching.